a hi in this video i'm going to show you how to do amazon dynamo db import from amazon s3 bucket data in a new table with using amazon dynamo db import from s3 bucket feature right so as you see in this ppt this ppt depicts my demo here i'm going to show you how we can import a data present in amazon s3 bucket in the form of csv json into amazon dynamo db table with using amazon dynamo db feature called you know import from s3 bucket yeah all right so as you know this is the latest feature from amazon dynamo db service which gives a capability to import terabyte of data from amazon s3 bucket into the amazon dynamo db table then that table is going to be created dynamically as per your definition right okay so with that note i'm gonna quickly take you to the you know the the steps that you need to carry to that is that you need to perform to achieve this particular demo right so here let me go back let me step back again so here the source of the data is amazon s3 bucket and the destination is amazon dynamo db table right so here for that case what you need to do is right i need to set up the amazon s3 bucket which is a source of this demo right and that's the reason i have taken you to the you know my aws account and this is my aws accounts s3 bucket service page right and i have also opened another tab and that is amazon dynamo db uh, you know service tab and currently i am in north virginia region right okay so with that i am going to you know get started with the the source data creation okay as of now i don't have any amazon s3 bucket where the data has been already been set so for that case what i do is i am going to prepare the source data here by creating an example s3 bucket i'm going to give the name of my uh, my bucket name as my channel name right so just give it as a cloud quick labs uh, demo import and then with the, all the default options i'm going to create a bucket now once the bucket is created what i do is i'm going to go to the bucket and create a, a folder called demo and once the folder is created what i do is i'm going to upload few json files as i said you know it supports cscv amazon ion and the dynamo json formats files can be imported right so here i'm going to show how the dynamo json format of dynamo json json format related files can be imported in a amazon dynamo db table okay that's what my aim is here i have collected few example files uh, which is required for this demo So these are the files that I'm just going to uh, import my into my you know this table which we created just now. So basically, before this gets imported, right? So Dynamo JSON in the sense this is the very peculiar file. I'm going to show you that you know. So the example file is data one dot JSON file. So this is a data one dot JSON file which we just now uploaded into the S3 bucket, which is acting as a source data too as well. So here you know the format when you say Dynamo JSON is nothing but you know it needs to have a key called you know item colon then you need to give the the record the record that you need to put it in a dynamo db table okay that's it that is what actually called is that called as a dynamo json format okay so if if your file does not follow this syntax maybe you will encounter the errors right all right that's the that's the very important point that you would like to tell here okay all my all these my files that is data one to five files are having that format okay and these in this in this file there is a file called i will also tell you that there, there is a one more important thing that you need to remember is i just open this file and if you see it right so this file and this file okay so basically both are of format dynamo json but there is a small changes here okay so if you see here it contains pk and sk as the key values in each records or each items yeah but if you see the data to dot json file it contains some you know reversal as some misses okay for example it does not contain pk there is a some misses in the records okay there are two records in this file which are missing the syntax with the starting with the pk and and you know sk okay so these are been deliberately been, been, been done to explain you certain important things around the import from s3 feature of dynamo db right so what i do is we are done with the you know source preparation in the sense source data is now ready right so since this is a demo i'm just you know mimicking the real-time production environment scenarios 
but in your case maybe this is already ready yeah all right i will go to the 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 main step of this demo that is import from s3 okay so this is my dynamo db page of my account and i'm going to go to the feature called import from s3 bucket okay already i have import from s3 to you know process has been ran and both process have been failed for some reason i'm going to explain like why it is failed okay so now let's let's set up a import process now by clicking on the backend card import from s3 so here we need to you know we need to provide the import details basically your source s3 bucket detail has to be provided here first one is source s3 url click on browse s3 and choose the s3 bucket okay so but you know um yeah i think i think I, we made some mistake here i'm gonna go back now so i'll just go back now so basically what i do is i i will be i will be adding the file not directly to the bucket but underneath the folder and we're gonna import those files okay so just to you know just to make sure that you know the there's a folder segregation that's also basically nothing much big changes here what i'm doing is what i'm doing is i'm just re-importing those five files underneath the folder then directly underneath the s3 bucket okay because i need to show that you know it imports in a proper structured format okay so basically just you just need to follow this way and what i do is i'm going to delete the other formats okay so so that you will you will you will not feel any kind of confusion here okay so i'm going to delete this not required all right so permanently delete i'm just copy this permanently delete and and clear these files which is directly sitting under under you know s3 bucket yeah because i want those files to be sit under a, a folder called demo that's the reason we created a folder now here you go the now the source data is as expected okay so we have a bucket we have a demo folder underneath the demo folder we have the json format which is a dynamo json format okay so what i do is i'm going to refresh it now and now here you go we have a required path now so i'm going to choose that path that is a source s3 url path right and then you're going to choose the s3 bucket owner so this is the s3 bucket owner account and there's an option called import file from the compression so i say no here import file format that the file you are going to import in a newly created dynamo db table is is either of the three format right so the here the demo is for dynamo db json format right i'm going to choose that i'm going to click next so this is the destination table you know data has to be fed here so as the table table is going to be created dynamically so i'm going to give a, a name called test demo or, or let me call it as a demo table one yeah, demo demo uh, table yeah import right so i'm going to give this peculiar name now and in this one as i say you know partition key and the short key okay so this dummy data are being formatted as a pk and sk so pk if i go to the data one dot json format so each record or each item has the keys called pk and sk common so let's use those pk as a primary key and the sk as a short key right so what i do is i'm going to copy paste those uh, 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 the names so just copy the pk put it across here uh, to the pk and then similarly i will copy the sk and put it across in the sk right so basically we are giving this option and the rest table settings i'm going to keep it very default and click on next when you and here is the review and import uh, you know summary just walk you through this one so just make sure that these are correct again and click on import so click on bucket import right so when you click on the bucket import basically you know it has started the importing you see we have a third process in this import from s3 you know options right and this is the you know demo table import is the table which is going to be created now right and currently the status of that process is in importing state i will take you to the table now and we should see our table is being created now so this is under progress okay so basically the table will be get created now now i will what i do is i'm going to explain while you know while it takes certain times i'm going to give you very important times keep a patience right here basically you know when you do these kind of configurations you know you know the the services takes its own time based on this design right so for example say here you know since we have initiated the import you know here the two steps it has to do right so basically it has to first create a dynamo db table basically it said it's a service right it's a service from aws and that service creation itself will take certain time for example say two to three minutes right once the two once the, once the two to three minutes has been done then only you know it is starts to import okay so basically it looks like the table has been created 
and it has started you know it has changed the status from importing right okay so that is what it ha happens here and since as you see this is since there are the certain new features have been released on the dynamo db table and those are been tagged as a new you see the new features okay basically this is very cool feature you know it will support you to you know import uh, uh you know raw data from s3 bucket into the dynamo db at the scale of terabyte size okay so that's the very uniqueness of this one and here the specialization is you know you don't need okay so you don't need any kind of etl support here okay you don't need to set up a etl pipeline or etl infrastructure to do this job okay this is a one time job this is a one time trigger job and you know it will happen just like that okay without without need of etl you know setups and all right so i'm just go back to the tables and let's see okay what is it happening now i see that you know the table is still provisioning basically you know that's that's that much time you know actually uh, the dynamo db table process creates okay so while while it is provisioning okay what i do is i'm going to take you to the existing one here you go right so there are two states of been filled okay so i i have also explained earlier you know why did fail there is a peculiar reason for it one so i'm going to explain that while that is being you know while the process gets completed from this side okay so if i open the data one dot json file so in this one you know it has four five records and five records is tagged as an item okay so item is in dynamo db is nothing but you know one record yeah so in one record so we have a keys called pk s case okay and and this is very you know very very required format basically yeah and while we are creating the table we have given saying like you know the the record in the sense the you know uh, the dynamo db table has a uh, two keys called primary key and the sort key and the name of the keys is equal to pk and sk yeah but if you go to the data to the json file so okay, this this json file has even also has a five records but here there are the two records the record one and the record four is missing the syntax okay it has a item yeah that is correct but you see it does not has a pk but you know it is it is it is reversing it does not has a pk and sk format similarly you know uh, no, in in place of pk it has the sk you know in the play in the, in the place of sk it has a record type something like data yeah so basically it is it is going you know it is deviating from the standard format okay and this is the example you know which is actually leads to the error in the import from s3 process okay so let's see what does okay so basically we also expect you know we also export the same thing for our as well here you go looks like we have imported you see your import from this is failed some of the item are failed validation check why validation check that's what i was covering here okay so basically it is not validating the required syntax here some of the records in a files are not qualifying the records okay so not only this one we can also check you know these information is also been logged into a cloud watch log as well i'm going to show you that as well before that let's see you know if our table is ready now if i refresh it here you go the table is ready the status is active and they you know it's all been provisioned okay so we can see the records now being imported here i'm going to explore you know click on explore table explore item so i'm going to expand this one here you go right so we have the records now uh now let's see let's see our record belongs to uh you know data one dot json right so here the pk is you know prod prd one zero zero one let's say do we have prod 101 here you go prod 1001 here you go so this is the record from the you know uh, from the uh, data one.json and that is being imported as per the dynamo db standard right so that's also this is how this is how we import you know terabyte size of data from the s3 bucket into the dynamo db right and that is without using etl process and all now i'm going to take you to the lastly i'm going to take you to the cloud watch service and i'm going to show you the errors there as well okay so so why am, what what is the aim here is you know if i if you go to the import from s3 and there are there are the fielders field okay field status we know see what is you know white field you can see that fields from here from the cloud watch to go to the cloud watch uh, go to the cloud watch and try to you know try to go to the imports as well so if you go to the cloud watch let's go to the cloud watch log groups and then here we need to go to the log groups with a name called imports okay dynamo aws so basically all the logs will be inserted in a log you know cloud watch uh, log group called aws dynamo db imports yeah and here you go the latest is an at this 1747 right so i'm going to open this one 
and here we should see the logs okay so basically if i expand this one you see the summary of the logs so the message it says you know one or more parameter values are involved missing the pk right missing the key pk in the item okay and these are the so basically this json data 2.json is the you know problematic file which is causing problem in the import okay so why i'm showing this one you know so that you know you are aware of the errors possible errors at this you know at this import operation yeah all right so with that note i have covered the things need to be shown in this video finally a kind request please do subscribe my channel uh and you know and also keep watching my channel that is really you know that that would really encourage me a lot and also your subscription uh, to my channel membership or to you know subscribe my channel is also going to be encourage me a lot so with that note yeah thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video